How you doing? My name is Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey, and welcome to Tool Time Tuesday. Today I want to talk about the DeWalt cordless bandsaw. It's a 20 volt max tool, uses a standard 20 volt max battery that we use for a bunch of our shop drills. Um, it's pretty heavy duty. Our friend Adam was hanging out at the shop the other day and he watched me cutting some uh, L iron, iron stock, um, some steel stock for the battery rack we're building for our Jeep JL project. And he saw how easily the tool powered through the metal. And he was like, Carlos, you should actually add that to your Tool Time Tuesday. He goes, that's a pretty cool tool. I didn't even know it existed. So um, I took his advice and I decided to show it to you guys. We have so many tools around the shop. I think that some of this is just obvious and everybody has it. Or sometimes I just forget that I have it until I use it. We normally use our rigid abrasive wheel chop saw. Um, for thinner stuff like 8th inch, 16th inch, it, it, the, the hollow tube, it cuts through it no problem. The only thing I don't like about it is it creates a lot of spark, heats up the edges, it always leaves a bird edge that we have to sand off. And when it's a piece you got to apply pressure to, it's a large 14 inch disc so the disc starts to deflect and it ends up curving and curving your cut. So a lot of times you got to grind it and sand it down to get it back 90 degrees and flat. With this, you don't have that issue. It cuts nice and smooth and straight, doesn't create any sparks at all, and it doesn't deform the material. Um, the only thing that sucks is you're limited by the width of the jaw here. So if you're doing, you can't do a three inch piece. Um, you're limited to about two, two and a half inches. On the angle iron, you can come in one side, and then so you can do a longer angle iron because you can manipulate it and get it to come around. But uh, it's a really awesome tool. It's kind of expensive, but it's worth it. I'll uh, show you a video of using the abrasive blade versus the bandsaw so we're still waiting I want to purchase a Laguna bandsaw for uh, metalworking and woodworking but we're not there yet we just got our CNC machine in that we're still setting up so there's a couple of tools on my wish list that I haven't purchased yet because I have to see how much room is left in the shop after I organize everything that I currently have and we also want to purchase a cold cut saw uh, probably gonna end up with a Evo one that's the one I've used and I like so the one Brian from Mobile Solutions use it but uh, those will be my two next investments, the full-size Laguna bandsaw and definitely a cold cut saw. The difference between an abrasive wheel and a cold cut saw, a cold cut saw has a lot of torque and it uses a special blade. The blade cuts through metal with no problem, it leaves no sparks and it leaves you with a nice clean edge. So uh, let's go in the back, I'll show you what this thing can do. Okay, so here we have quarter inch steel. This is our rigid abrasive wheel chop saw. This is what we normally use to cut our uh, hollow steel stock for making amp racks before we weld it. Now on something thin like this, where we're talking eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, this cuts through it perfectly fine, quickly, does a good job. Once you get into the angle iron, quarter inch thick like this, it struggles. I'll show you now on a piece that we have loaded up. And it creates a lot of spark and it doesn't give you a clean cut. And then when you apply pressure, the blade actually deflects and it starts curving your cut at an angle. So as you can see, had a lot of fireworks going on. Then it also leaves you with an edge where you got to grind all those pieces off. And you see how it's struggling. It took about 30 seconds to go through that piece. Now we're going to show you the DeWalt 20-volt uh, cordless bandsaw. It eats through the same piece effortlessly. Okay, so if you see, we have the same piece, quarter inch, locked into our Rockwell draw horse. If you don't have one of these, you should definitely get one. It's one step. Close, hit the lock, step, and it clamps the piece in tightly. It's not moving. The Walt 20 volt bandsaw, completely cordless. Cut through the piece with ease. Nice clean edge.